Hello, welcome to the Vaki and Dairy Show. If you like the interviews, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please visit our website, the and Show.com, and visit our photo and video gallery. Today we have Frankie, who's a cosplay person. Hello, hi. Can you tell us more about that? Um, yes, I am Frank. Um, my name is Frankie. Um, my cosplay name is Frankie K, and I'm also known as the Midnight Rogue, which is my alter ego. Um, I've been cosplaying for a while. And so what cosplay is, is basically um, costume plays, the two words put together. Um, and they it's like a subculture where you can dress up as your favorite superhero, um, your favorite anime character, video game character, whichever one it is. So, yeah. So that's what cosplay is. <laughs> what do you call a cosplay? Um... <laughs> Well, again, like I said before, it's costume play, and you can dress up as any superhero you want to, anime character. You can also make up your own character if you want to, like just completely draw it out of nowhere, create your own costume, and there you go. You can dress up as your original character. What's your favorite character? My favorite character, my favorite character to cosplay, or my favorite character to just in general. General. Very good. Both. Okay, so my favorite character to cosplay, um, out of all the cosplays that I have so far, would be, let's see, I like I love cosplaying Storm from X Men, um, so oh, wow. yeah, she's my favorite one to cosplay. She's also one of my favorite superheroes, and um, to be honest, one of my all time favorite characters is Sailor Moon from um, you know, the show Sailor Moon, the anime. Um, from the early 90s, and I watched it as I was a child, and she's been my superhero ever since, so that is my all-time favorite character. <laughs> what do you love, like most about cosplay? I, I love the people I get to meet through cosplay, because without cosplaying, I wouldn't have met y'all. So, um, so yeah, I love meeting new people and um, all the people that I get to conversate with, collaborate with. We can come up with some pretty awesome things. I met one of my best friends through cosplay, and we have our own podcast called okay. The Blurred Lines. Well, it's also met her through cosplay, too. Um, not the Harley Quinn that you met, but um, it's a different guy. And we have our own podcast called The Blurred Lines, and we talk about everything that's nerd culture, um, geek culture, everything in between. <laughs> can you name all the people that you have played? Cosplay? Yes, I can. Um, so Sailor Moon, I have Sailor Moon cosplay. And then I also have Catwoman. I'm dressed up as Catwoman today. And I have um, Storm. Storm, I have a Storm cosplay from X-Men. Starfire from Teen Titans. Oh, wow. And I'm working on Yoko from Gurren Lagann. Actually, I been have that costume. It's just I had to put it away, and she needs a lot of refurbishing. So, um and let's see, who else do I have? I know I have a few more others. I can't think of any right now, but yeah, those are the main ones I can think of at the moment. Go ahead, Maki. It's your turn. I just have a question. I just <laughs> asked a question, Maki. It's your turn. Oh. <laughs> You're having a hard time with that one. <laughs> Ooh, uh, what cosplay conference do you get you um well if you're talking about conference if you're mentioning conventions i go to um <laughs> plenty <laughs> local conventions in north carolina are you guys laughing at <laughs> the way she asked the question <laughs> i don't get what it's saying it says what cosplay conferences that do you go to well technically they're called conventions and so you know like comic con you know comic con nope well, basically, <laughs> of course she doesn't. What a convention is um, is where a whole bunch of cosplayers, um, artists, comic book artists, um, just meet up and we just all get together cosplay. Um, the biggest one that I go to in North Carolina is called NC Comic Con, and that's my favorite one to go to so far. I really want to go to Dragon Con, which is in Atlanta in De uh, not December but September. So hopefully I can go to that one this year. That would be pretty great. Don't leave. <laughs> no, no, I'm not leaving forever. It's just for a few few days. 
Mm-hmm. What is the most crazy costume you've seen? The most crazy costume I've seen. Uh, that's interesting because I've seen plenty of crazy costumes, but the <laughs> one that sticks out to me is Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, really? Someone actually oh, yeah. built it from. Um, I don't even know exactly what they built it from, but he was on stilts and he was really tall. And he looked like just, you know, he looked like Groot. So it was pretty interesting being able to hang out with Groot that weekend. <laughs> we <Yeah>. are Groot. <laughs> yes, we are Groot. <laughs> what kind of advice would you give to kids? For um, cosplaying? <laughs> well, basically, you can cosplay whatever you want to, whoever you want to, no matter what you look like. Um, if you want to cosplay... Um, say Elsa from Frozen. <laughs> if you want to cosplay as Elsa from Frozen, um, and say if you're African American, you can do that. No one's saying that you have to cosplay Elsa only if you're white. So um, no matter what your age, shape, gender, size, you can cosplay whoever you desire, whatever your favorite character is. Do you do actual, like, Plays? I used to in high school. <laughs> I don't do them anymore. But I am trying to get back into acting, so. What is the favorite event that you've been to? My favorite event would be NC Comic Con. And there's also an amazement, which is um, just mainly an anime convention. So you'll see a lot of cosplayers cosplaying characters from animes. Um, so that one's pretty fun. And I've been to it twice. So, and each time I had a great time. Like, is there more than like just one place that you go to? Mm -hmm. They have them throughout the whole entire year, different areas throughout the states, the country, all over the place. Are they they named Austin related to each other? No, they're not. No, sometimes, like you said, like I said before, in amazement. Um, there's NC Comic Con, there's San Diego Comic Con, there's also um, Anime West, which I don't know exactly what part of the country it takes place in, but they're all over the place. Um, there's Colossal Con, which is basically a huge outdoors um, water park, and you can just dress up as your favorite character and have fun at a water park. So, yeah. Doesn't time mean time print? Yeah, it does. But you said it wasn't a conference. Well, <laughs> it does mean conference, but uh, no, it also means convention. Oh. So, yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Trying to outsmart me. I see you. <laughs> um, How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this um, since I was 19. I've been doing it professionally since I was 19. Um, but... Dressing up, I've been dressing up since I was little. It's been a passion of mine since I was a child. Isn't this like Halloween all year round? Yeah, pretty much. And Halloween's my favorite holiday, so why not celebrate it year round? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> minus the candy, which is the best yeah, part. Yeah, minus the candy, which is the best part. <laughs> but adults get different types of candy, so. <laughs> 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 Do you, like, do group costumes, like Batman? I'm Batman. <laughs> well, we, um, I do have a few cosplayers, um, cosplay friends that um, they dress up as Batman. And you saw the Harley Quinn a few weeks, a weekend ago. Um, so we like to get together and take pictures and, you know, do group cosplays like that. Um, and I think a few um, months ago, I went to a convention called Oak City Comic Con. And we, um, are y- you guys familiar with Pokemon? Yes. Yes. Team Skull? Yes. So me and my friends, we did a Team Skull cosplay. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> Look at you. I shoot you. <laughs> yeah. Pikachu. So which guys, um, so which one's your favorite Pokemon? I barely, we, uh, we don't see. play it anymore. So you we don't play it anymore? I would go, um, go with Pikachu. What about you? Hmm, I don't even remember his name. What was that? What was that guy that I used to pick for the Diamond and Pearl? Not Diamond and Pearl, for... Mikey? 
Yeah, Mudkip. That's my favorite Mudkip. Pokemon. Oh, see, I like Eevee. Eevee's one of my favorites. And Which? all the Eeveelutions. See, so you guess one right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Pokemon. Trying to catch your love. <laughs> Do you dress up as any Pokemon? No, I've thought about doing um, some Pokemon cosplays before, but that's something that's in the future that I'm working on right now. Did you always want it to be in a cosplay? Well, I originally wanted to be an artist, which I still do artwork, and I wanted to just become a professional artist, but cosplay allows me to do everything because I love designing and I love... Um, you know, making clothes, I I love drawing and painting, so I'm able to actually incorporate all of that in cosplay. So you, I'm sorry, your eyes are just really pretty. Thank you. <laughs> so you make your own clothes? Yes, I do make some of my own clothes. Mm -hmm. I made this whole entire outfit here. And that's another thing, I make the majority of my cosplay, if not all of them. Um, usually, like, you know, the wigs or the shoes are one of the few things I'm not able to make, but um, there are times that I do make the wigs, but um, if I can buy them and it's a lot easier, then I'll definitely do that. Do you, would you like, if your friends need your help, would you like mm -hmm. help them with it? Yes, I do that all the time. <laughs> I, do you make money? Every now and then I do. Every I now and that. then I do get paid to go um, to certain places and show up dressed up. Um, I do get paid to make um, certain cosplays for other people as well. So sometimes people would just ask me, "Hey, can I? Uh, can you make me this?" And I'm like, "Okay." And you just ask me for how much, and I'll, you know, give them a price and I'll make it for them. Why don't you have claws? Why don't you make the claws? Well, because I was at work. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no, that's good. and I left some of my materials at work, so I'm just. So you really do have the claws? Yes, I do have the claws. Oh my gosh, you yeah. struggle with it. <laughs> do your friends help you with the shoes and wigs? Um, every now and then I do get help from them. Um, whether it's um, for um, when they help me build armor, I do get help with that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a community effort. Thank you, Frankie, <laughs> for coming to yes. be interviewed. Oh, no problem. Hope to see you again. Thanks for watching the Rocket Derek Show. Make sure you subscribe, comment, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down. Mm -hmm. If you want to be our sponsor, just go to our website, Rocket Derek Show, and we'll be there. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.